What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. Today is April 8th and we finally broke the morel curse. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's freaking cold. It's like 36 degrees down here in Douglas County. And I wasn't even gonna film a video, but I pulled up to the gate, got out, and walked over to the first spot and I was like, if I find anything here, we'll film a video. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I walked up to the first path, I found two. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those, and then we're going to venture on into the patch and see what else we can find. I found those, and then I just went, got back, to, back in the car, pulled the car through, and decided to film. So you guys are going to start where I started. But all right, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I do apologize for the wind and the road noise. We're down here by the highway just right up the driveway i literally parked right there at that white gate and then walked in but yeah this is my first little patch and literally just right off the edge we got two right there my first morels of the year boy am i excited and once I saw those, I'm not going to lie, I did stand here and kind of scan the area around, but I didn't see any more. So we're going to go ahead and venture on into the patch together and see what we can find. But that's a really good sign. I'm not sure how cold it's going to get tonight, but I am going to leave them and see if they get a little bit bigger. I'm going to come back down here Sunday, which today is Friday. So I'm going to give them a couple more days and then we're going to come back and we're going to hunt all the areas really good and see what we can find. We'll just scan this area. They usually like to grow in there and then up in here really well. And a few years ago we found a bunch right over there. So we're just going to kind of look real slow because as you can see they're still pretty small. And then we'll move on down to the other patch. I'm not going to lie I'm kind of shocked we found those two right off the bat. That's crazy. I figured it was way too cold. But I mean, we've had nice days the last two or three, and this cold spell is not going to last very long. I'm pretty sure by uh, Sunday it's supposed to warm back up, so yeah, or maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But, all right, we're going to take one last look at those, and then we're going to move to the next spot. All right. All right, guys. Well, right over there is where we just found those two. And I was on my way to the next spot. And let's see if you guys can see it. This one's a little bit bigger. Still not large. But that's our third one. That's a really, really good sign. Mostly because I normally don't find any right here. So that's kind of exciting. We'll definitely have to check this better Sunday when we come back. I'm going to go ahead and leave that one too. I think it can grow for another day or two. I'm really hopeful, actually, just as a precaution. And I'll go back to the others. But I'm going to give it a little bit of insulation. I'll remember right where it's at. That'll help prevent it from freezing a little bit if the temp does get down. But yeah, I started doing that last year to a few of them and it seemed to help a lot. So I'm definitely going to start doing that to these that I find today. I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect to find any. So this is pretty good. But all right, we're going to go ahead and hop down to the next patch. All right, well, we went and checked a few spots. Um, 
up in some of my higher elevation areas. And so far we haven't found any more, so I'm going to say they're staying down lower. The first ones we found weren't too far from the creek area. So we're going to go back down toward the uh, ladder stand and all those sycamore trees and we're going to check that and see if we can't get lucky and find a few more. I'm already stoked about finding three. That's a really good sign. I was starting to get concerned. I follow a morel group on Facebook and they have a progression map and it's like six counties above me and all the counties below me now so yeah I was getting a little concerned but yep now that we have some found and I've already evaluated a bunch of the other areas I can tell you that with the warm temperatures and a little bit of rain we're supposed to get the next week and a half or two weeks is going to be really really good but all right we're almost to this next spot we're going to go ahead and check it out and see what we can find That's pretty cool. Cottontail rabbit. Gotta love nature. We were just walking up the hill here to the um, tree I found all the oyster mushrooms and the morels under last year. And jumped that little rabbit right there under that briar bush over there. But yeah, now we're getting into right below where I start finding the morels under that one tree. So far I'm not seeing very much of anything, but <laughs> that rabbit's right back down there. And that's cool. But all right, yeah, we're gonna keep looking right here. With any luck, we'll find a few. Maybe too far up the hill. It seems like so far they want to be down lower in the valley. But alright, we're going to keep looking. We're going to go back down and check by the gate and that little ridge there. And with any luck we'll find some. But alright, we'll head that way. Alright guys, well, it took a little while, but we found some more. I don't know if you'll recognize these two sycamores or not, but you might recognize the little backdrop here behind me. We checked this spot in the first couple videos I did. But alright, I'm going to turn you all around so you can see the morels. Alright, as you can see, we're right down here by the edge of the creek. Here's them two big sycamores. And this was actually the third little one I found. Right there. And I mean that is a little bitty guy. That thing's probably an inch total. And then right over here is the first couple I found. Oh, here's another one that I'd missed. So there's actually four right here. 
Cool. I am going to cover these up before we leave just in case. And then there's the other two. Not too bad. Four right here under this one tree. That's pretty good. If they get bigger, and I'm sure there's more, they're just under these leaves and I can't see them. They're probably all the way up through here. All of this. Because I normally find them all the way up to those logs. And then down to there. And then you'll remember me saying in some of the previous videos, if you're subscribed to the channel, that I found them up there. One time like crazy. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, there's an easy way to fix that. You just go down there and hit that little button. But alright, we're going to go ahead and take some leaves. And cover these guys up. Just so they're a little bit more protected. Let's go cover this one. And then I've got one more spot I want to check. And with any luck, we'll find a bunch more there. There, that'll help against frost in case it does get down to like 30 or 28 tonight. It may not protect them all the way, but I feel like that gives them a better shot than nothing. We'll go ahead and take a peek right over here because I ain't looked here yet. I'm not seeing anything obvious, but I almost guarantee you there's a couple there that I can't see because they're so small. But alright, let's head down to the last spot and see what we can't find. Alright guys, well, we just got through checking the last spot. I didn't film just because, well, I didn't really find anything. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. I really appreciate you guys watching the entire thing. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave me a like down below. Comment if you want to, and as always, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But alright guys, that's going to wrap this one up. We found seven, I believe, so not too bad. But alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.